Eunice and I are gonna take a moment to show you some of the grooming things we're gonna be doing to get her ready for the puppy show ring. Um, she's still growing coat, but there's still plenty of things that we can do to accentuate some features and make her show ready. Um, we are mainly making this video for her sister's owner, um, just showing what we do. We are not professionals by any means. We are about to enter our first show, so I am not a professional. I'm just helping her get an understanding of what we can do to get our puppies ready for the show ring. Plus, I have no storage on my phone, so this is just gonna be the easiest way to record it. So here she is, Miss Thing. First thing we're doing on the English Setter uh, for puppies are the ears. This is the back of the ear, the top of the ear, the ear pad. And what we're doing is with a 10 blade, we're shaving around this ear and down about halfway. Um, to my knowledge, the English Setter has the shortest of the setters and ear pads, so we don't take it completely halfway because um, we want to leave some of that hair, but we are going to take it about a third um, of the way down. Okay, I don't have amazing clippers, but that's okay. We shave this with a 10 blade, and a 10 blade on here with these little numbers is going to be 1.5, so I'm gonna put it right about there, right after the 1.4. Um, again, if you are a groomer and you have some feedback here, let us know. Okay, stand up. So I'm starting at the top of the ear and making my way down. Going around the back of the ear, under the ear, back to the front. Making sure it goes about that third of the way down. So same thing on this side, the top, around. One thing I'm not doing is taking off this front fringe. That is supposed to add to the soft expression in the face. So I'm going to be leaving these outer fringes. Here's a close up of that. So around the top, around the back, about a third of the way down, leaving that fringe, <laughs> leaving that fringe in front. Now, once I have a stripping stone, we'll be able to level this plane out and um, blend all of this. Um, but that's what we have it looking like for now. One of the other main areas we are going to be cutting on her is the neck down. So I am going to release her from her collar daddy noose just because it's easier for me to actually get the whole thing and we have been working on this. So I'm going to put her in a hold and I'm just going to start by going down the middle there. To before all of this. I'm just coming straight down and I'm going to clean up these other sides as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is put our chin back up. We're going to come all the way up and make pretty much a U. So that's what the chin's looking, or the chin and chest are looking like. We're also going to do a bit under that ear. Eunice, sit. Okay, so under that ear over on this side, it just has that little bit of hair to be cleaned up right there. So we're just going to... kind of coming forward. We're just cleaning it out and following that line there. I guess it's So that is what it's looking like under there right now. The sweet girl needed a break earlier, so we are back at it now to show you the rest of the things we are doing. Um, we are also taking care of her paw pads. Um, we are making sure that we are shaving underneath and getting everything out of those nooks and crannies to make sure she's nice and stable um, on the ring floor. We're also combing up in between her hair, uh, her toes, and getting all that fringe hair out. Um, and we're making sure we are pretty much daily working on those nails to keep them in a nice shelf position. The other thing we are doing grooming-wise is, you know, keeping her teeth nice and clean. We're also going to do her sanitary area. We're going to clean that up a little. I'm not going to do that <laughs> on camera. I'm going to spare you all that. Um, and then at the 
the very end of it, we're going to be doing her tail, and I will show you what that looks like. So the English letter tail should come just to the end of the tail there. So if you have it overgrown too much, technically you should be trimming that off. I'm just pinching off where the end of her tail is, so I have my hands over it. So you're gonna, so I can't cut it, and I'm just trimming the rest off. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with cutting down her actual tail because I wanna let that hair continue to grow. Eunice, sit. Yes, I have a kitten trying to break in. But the last thing we will be doing on her is getting rid of some of this bulk on top. Um, some groomers in the English setter do that with a rake. Some do it with stripping knives and stones or some kind of combination of all three. I don't know what to do quite yet. I do have a whole bunch of rakes to um, try out. I'm a little worried to use any of them because, you know, again, I don't want to ask my dog's coat up. I have all of those to try. Um, I'm not a fan of this strip of stone. I have a couple more coming in. Um, things that I work, I think are gonna work a little bit better. And then aside from that, we do have a fine, medium, and coarse set of stripping knives. Um, I have seen some professional handlers and groomers utilize those. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Again, ears, neck, chest, sanitary area, paws, tip of tail, and just cleaning up the rest of her. Um, we might strip some down on her thighs and her um, withers just to kind of accentuate some of those muscle features. Um, but that's what it's looking like. And sorry for the long video. If you made it all the way through, well, thank you so much.